Meet Mikael. Hiru. My intuition. Or into. He's my internal guide. Working as one with spirit. The one spirit. Developing us from the inside out. I've known him all my life and he is my closest friend we are one actually he's kept me out of trouble many many times the most recent one however forever changed our relationship for the better After this, I began to trust him more, for he has saved my life effortlessly. His pure, unadulterated awareness allowed me to retain my most valuable asset, my asphalt. We thus began on a journey of inner awareness, self-discovery, and bombastic now moments. I'm talking bombastic. Very fantastic. Smooth. He kept me enthralled in the natural beauty of life. I ain't gonna tell that shit. <laughs> Notice the beauty all around you, Tata Is this not a grand sight in the midst of the land fight? We appreciate the fineness of Mother Nature's soft, silky bosom. We only get more bosom in return to caress. Do you know why? Because karma has a fat ass. We worked out on a regular basis. A most regular basis. He kept me in shape. Don't you want a girlfriend? You, you, you crazy person! Look at that chest! Look at it! Don't think about that chest I haven't seen your heart beating. A girl who can see your heart beating will never let you start eating. Karina! 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 Shoo! Shoo! You, you forget we hungry? So here's some push ups, man! He 
was constantly uplifting my spirits with witty speeches on the importance of our connection. Like, right. Now, Tristan, when you buy a homie from a homie shop and you turn around the church, and at the same time, you know, the, the homie actually it falls on the ground. And the court opts not to tell you. Hold up. You know who's gonna save your bears? Me. When you buy a homie from a subway shop, and when you turn around the church, the cook drops your homie on the ground. And the court opts not to tell you. You know who's gonna save your grass? Me. So bad behind kiss the rain. <laughs> I ain't even got no rain. <laughs> so go buy me one. Hold on, listen, you didn't listen to what I told you the first time. I'm gonna tell you again. I will repeat myself like Prophet Nova Drill. He told me you do. When you run across an old female friend at the grocery store, and you start conversing with her, forgetting her baby daddy has threatened to click clock your tic tacs the next time he sees you. Lord knows what that means, Jesus. And he's right around the corner looking for regular goldfish. Who's going to fill you in? Who's going to tell you you're right next to the regular goldfish? Me. That's who. No one else but me. So God ought to kiss the rain. We <laughs> don't want shit. When your mother unknowingly smuggles a mouse in her huge shoe bag from storage, who's going to shake that nasty bag on before you sell rat traps on the car like a damn clown? No one else but me. Hero walked me through our day, informing me on all the surprises that would have depleted precious life energy from your boy. Okay, first off, when it's time to go to work, we're going to leave through the back door and cut to the neighbor's yard because there's a group of Antoine LaVey disciples about to knock on the door and we just don't have time for them. They're too much confusing. When we get to work, don't say anything to Michael Messi. Because he's having a super bad day and good vibes. Good vibes is all we need, child. Good vibes. When it's time for lunch, I know you want chicken patty with cocoa bread and all. But instead, bruh, go to Chinese. Shishi ni. Shishi ni. Shishi ni. And when Tori calls, unless you know her boyfriend finally broke up with her after cheating, tell her that's good for her dumb donkey. Stupid is that stupid does, and give her another chance is just stupid. And what we are? No, no dumb donkey. I saw a guy was probably Asian or some shit. Hmm? I saw a guy who was Asian or something. Shit. Shit. Hi, I'm, I'm, I'm Chad. This is Chad. Hey, Chad. This is Tori. I'm sorry to bother you right now, but I really need to talk. My boyfriend broke up with me. I'm so sorry. I should have saw it coming. I'm such a dumb donkey. Please take me back, Chad. There's only one thing. He got me pregnant. He said he doesn't want to be around for the baby. And he went back to Mexico. Chad? Chad? Hello? With a power like that, what would you do or not do?
Your time is limited. So don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma. Which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. So let me think. He came to the door. Isaiah was around the corner. He couldn't have saw Isaiah. He, he didn't go out there. I know he ain't see my partner. I was out there. But why, what made him leave? The only real valuable thing is intuition. There is no logical way to the discovery of these elemental laws. There is only the way of intuition, which is helped by a feeling for the order lying behind the appearance. How did he, how did, it, how did he know what he was about to do? Something must have told him, somebody must have told him what we were about to do. Somehow he knew, he sensed it. I don't know how. Some strange though. There is only the way of intuition. The more you trust your intuition, the more empowered you become, the stronger you become, and the happier you become. Giselle Bunchen. Listen to your own intuition. It will tell you everything you need to know. Anthony J. D'Angelo. Faith is a passionate intuition. William Wordsworth. Enlightened leadership is spiritual. If we understand spirituality not as some kind of religious dogma or ideology, but as the domain of awareness where we experience values like truth, goodness, beauty, love, and compassion, and also intuition, creativity, insight, and focused attention. Deepak Chopra. I don't know, man. I don't know. Something strange about that kid. I'm going to figure it out, though. Trusting our intuition often saves us from disaster. Anne Wilson Schaefer. Intuition is a spiritual faculty and does not explain, but simply points the way. Florence Chauvel Shin. Intuition would tell the thinking mind where to look next. Jonas Salk. Intuition comes very close to clairvoyance. It appears to be the extrasensory perception of reality. Alexis Carroll. You have to leave the city of your comfort and go into the wilderness of your intuition. What you will discover will be wonderful. What you will discover is yourself. Alan Alda. The creative is the place where no one else has ever been. You have to leave the city of your comfort and go into the wilderness of your intuition. Alan Alda. He knew what you all were about to do because of his intuition. Cease trying to work everything out with your minds, it will get you nowhere. And I mean nowhere. Live by your intuition and inspiration and let your whole life be revelation. Lack of education. He knew what you were gonna do because of his intuition. He has insight. The thing that you're trying to figure out is He wasn't alone when he came. He brought his spirit with him. If you really want to know how Chad got away, you must open your third eye, young one. And fuck it. <laughs> That's it. Cease. Trying to work everything out with your minds, it will get you nowhere. Live by intuition and inspiration, and let your whole life be revelation. Aline Caddy The two operations of our understanding, intuition and deduction, on which alone we have said we must rely in the acquisition of knowledge. Rene Descartes The two operations of our understanding, intuition and deduction, on which alone we have said we must rely in the acquisition of knowledge. 
The two operations of our understanding, intuition and deduction, on which alone we have said we must rely in the acquisition of knowledge. Rene Descartes. I feel there are two people inside me, me and my intuition. If I go against her, she'll screw me every time. And if I follow her, we get along quite nicely. Kim Basin. Alright, um, it's Chad Films here. I don't even know. This is one of those moments where just like, it's Mercury retrograde and just stuff that you plan just doesn't happen. So, I'm in one of those situations where I just laugh and just film. You know what I'm saying? I'm just filming myself right now. Like, because I'm just bored. Like, was, I'm supposed to be filming. Made a plan during Mercury, my bad. Got punished for making a plan. And the plan didn't work at all. So, you know, I was like, F yeah, I'm already here. So, I'm gonna film something. So, alright. We're gonna put this at the very end of intuition, too. Because that's where we're at in life right now. Like, that's where the universe is at right now. That's where my universe is at right now. We're about to drop intuition, too. It's a sequel to the first official, the first official short film by Chad Films. You know, the first film in. Whether you've seen it or not, by the third one, you will be into it. Definitely. <laughs> You know, that's definitely, you know. But anyway, Comic Con, here we come. <laughs> I don't know nothing about Comic Con, but I'm gonna go just to say I went. And they love me. <laughs> They're gonna love me at Comic Con because I'm making brand new heroes, you know, to the face. I'm taking heroes to the face. <laughs> but anyway, um, Intuition 2, it dropped, what, a good year after? Yeah, because. We dropped Intuition on April of 2012. <clears throat> April of 2012, now it's like pretty much July of 2013. So a year, less than a year and a half later, Intuition 2 is coming to you. So basically, we're not going to shoot Intuition 3 because there's a special circumstance that we're working on with Intuition 3 and further projects of this kind. You know, so we're going to hold off on Intuition 3. And so right after Intuition 2, what this vlog is about is we're working on getting more actors and actresses involved in actually filming product that's editable. <laughs> ah, that edible, like, like editable, like able to be edited, video edited, <laughs> you know, but yeah, man, I think I got two actors, you know, we're going to see what happens, you know, I know I have more than two actors, but for this particular project, like, we're about to move on a new project, basically, new projects, just deep, just, I'm going to blow your mind, you know, I'm tired of playing with y'all, I'm tired of playing with y'all, I'm tired of giving away my skill for free, because I'm skilled, <laughs> I'm super skilled at this shit, man, like, right now, this video is just weird, like, I'm just making a video randomly somewhere where I don't live. It's like, it's just all weird. But I'm gonna chop it up. You know what I'm saying? It's funny so you can hear like shots right after they say chop it up, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna chop it up, hear shots. You know? But that's just an, um, that's just like on screen, like, thought process. Like, your thoughts make stuff happen. Like, you all heard me talking about something before you heard the shot and then you heard it again when I kept talking about, you know, just being aware, you know, like it's all about awareness, how aware you are of, you know, your thoughts, man, because that, it's serious, you know what I'm saying, like it's so serious, sometimes I've been thinking, like recently, like I've been thinking like it's, like the whole process of manifesting thought is totally different than what I thought or learned or something. Because the way it's looking, like, it, it got to be all about perspective and perception. Like, I really fully feel like it's about um, perspective and perception, you know, because it's like the filmmakers have per perspectives. I feel like if you want to uh, 
be a filmmaker or a writer or, you know, actor, anything like that, man. It's just all about your perspective on life. Like, you have to own your perspective. Like, I'm sitting in a field right now. I'm not about to be out here alone because it's about to be dark. And, and then, you know what I'm saying, I'm about to... I like safety, so I'm a, you know, I'm by myself, so I'm gonna go back, you know, it's where it's Chad right now, I'm by myself, you know, chilling, but, yeah, nah, this chunk is easy, man, it's about perspective, like, I have my perspective, like, I'm comfortable with my perspective on life, like, my perspective on life is awesome, you know what I'm saying, my niece is Kiwi TV, you know what I'm saying, like, that's my perspective on life, you know, my perspective is getting mad at my niece, cause she ain't trying to be on YouTube, you know what I'm saying, like, she don't want to be on Disney Channel, she just want to watch it.